morning everyone it's day one day one of this week in my life challenge that i'm doing as part of a youtube group and i haven't filmed a video like this in years so we'll see we'll see how this goes i've never done a week in my life it's monday morning i am eating cottage cheese for breakfast as you can see i have goals and my vision board and I have like little mini home workouts behind me. This is a piece of paper with nice things that people said about me. And I am having some coffee. I had coffee with a little bit of sugar-free flavoring and like a splash of almond milk. It's usually how I've been drinking my coffees lately. It was really hot. Okay. Now that I finished eating and my hair is crazy, let's go get ready for the day real quick and then it's time to go to work. So I'm just going to kind of brush my hair today. Sometimes I straighten it, sometimes I wave it, but I don't like to add like a ton of heat to my hair. Um, I do it pretty natural. Sometimes I'll do heatless curls, but I obviously didn't do that last night. So we're doing what we do. So brow powders used to be a thing and like suddenly they disappeared from the market so I don't know but uh, I just use eyeshadow and because I don't have eyebrows anymore I'm in my 30s which is totally fine because I can make them come back every day. Boom I have eyebrows. <laughs> so we're allowed to wear all black at work and that's pretty much it. It has to be 95% black. And so this is the outfit I think I'm going with today because I was wearing this black undershirt. It's actually like a crop workout shirt, but it's freezing at work. So I put this nice shirt over it and we're just gonna go with it today. Just waiting on the frost to de-thaw. So if you get chapped lips in the winter, lip oil. Lip oil is so superior to chapstick because it doesn't make my lips drier after I use it. Like, you know how you use chapstick and then you feel like you just need more and more and more? Lip oil actually just keeps your lips moist and I feel like it makes them more moist and more like hydrated. It's got like vitamins in it, vitamin E and stuff. I use the Ulta Beauty one. I've used this one for like five years and I love it. I love it. Also, I don't know where to look. Am I might I'm looking at you right now. Okay, cool. So usually on my way to work, I will listen to music or a podcast and I love listening to other podcasts for inspiration. That's how I got into like wanting to podcast. Just waiting. I feel like I probably could have done some makeup this morning um, just to cover out my breakout, but I didn't really have the time. <laughs> so yeah, Mondays are usually just pretty like Nobody even, nobody really shops on Mondays anyway. Okay, I'm back from work. So yeah, that was a, that was a decent work day actually. Work was decent. Um, I got this free drink from HTO because I had points. And let me show you my coffee recipe right now. You guys, first of all, this is the Marfa Morning Breve from HTO. And it is coffee, obviously. Um, caramel and half and half and just the way they do it is literally the most perfect drink ever and I've been getting it for like six months. I've been there probably more than I need to than I should be going this week but um it's all right it's worth it because then you get free drinks. So what I've been doing is adding a protein powder so this is 100 grams 100 calories 20 grams of protein and it's German chocolate cake and I use this brand Clean Simple Eats. I just add in the powder stir it up and that way um i feel like it kind of helps balance my caffeine like it helps me with the jitters and stuff but also just is a nice little boost of protein and i'm trying to intake more protein because i'm trying to like get full i also just got this package from shen listen guys i know shen is a horrible place to shop and i'm going to hell for shopping there and spending money and giving them harder income but it's work shirts and like you guys I swear I used to thrift everything everything in my 20s I thrifted except for like underwear and I don't know what happened 
happened. I don't know if it's just in my city, but it just seems way harder to find work appropriate clothing to thrift. And then if I go on like Depop or Threadup, stuff is like, like way more expensive than it needs to be. And I'm on a budget. I wear black shirts, like, like you see, every day to work. And pretty much, I mean, every quarter or a couple times a year, I just need to update my wardrobe because I'm wearing the same like five shirts every week. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do a little try on. I did some laundry over the weekend and it's time to hang. Laundry is all put away and done. So next we're gonna clean my turtle tank. By the way, everyone, this is Creamy. She's one of my three cats. This is Cookie. What him? This is my boyfriend. <laughs> So this is his tank. We keep it covered most of the time because we learned that it actually kind of drives them crazy if they can see outside of the tank because they can see it, but they can't get to it. And so we cover it during the day, well, during the day and the night. This is baby cat. She is also a rescue. This is Mr. Turtle. His Water is really low right now. As you can see, it gets pretty dirty, pretty gnarly really fast. This is maybe a week of not cleaning his water. So one thing I try to do every time is scoop him up and inspect him and make sure he's looking good and healthy. Hi, Mr. Turtle. We use a suction mechanism to suck out the water and the cats love to watch it. They love to watch the little like pieces of poop fly through the tube. And there it goes. And I rinse and clean out this filter. This is a rock disguised as a, well, it's a filter disguised as a rock um, because he used to tear out his filter all the time and tear it up. So we had to get one like this. And actually this is my second one of this that I've had. And I love them. They work really well. Here is the finished product. We've got Scuba Steve in there. We've got the filter going. We've got his basking rock. And we have a happy turtle. All of his lights and everything and his feeder are automatic. So they're timed and they'll go off on certain times of the day. So now that the turtle tank is done, I'm honestly thinking I'm just gonna chill for a little bit and I don't really feel like making dinner yet. Uh, making dinner, it's like such a chore. Creamy is asking for so much love. She's been very talkative tonight. Sometimes when I'm hungry but I don't wanna make a full meal, I'll just do like some tuna. Just a little can of tuna. But you know, the weirdest thing just happened. I went upstairs and I checked my cupboard and I, I swear, I had just purchased like at least five packets of those pre like seasoned and flavored tuna things and they're all gone. And I ate maybe two of them. I know I didn't need five of them. I don't know, I live with roommates and generally nobody I don't know. I don't want to accuse anyone of anything. I don't know why anyone would want my tuna. But it's gone. So it's 8 p.m. and I'm kind of winding down, you guys. I have chilled. I am now rinsing the bathtub because I think I'm going to take a little uh, warm bath and maybe do some magnesium salts and just kind of read a book and chill before bed. Just kidding, I filled up this much and realized that there is no hot water left. I don't know, I guess I used it all on Mr. Turtle and uh, my roommates. So yeah, we're getting out of the tub now. I might save this water and like, cause it's not very much and uh, wait 30 minutes and fill it up.
been 30 minutes. The water is warm again. I am getting in the bath. So you may have noticed I only do my skincare in the evening. I did not show a morning skincare routine. And this is because um, several years ago, the information came out that it is not beneficial to do morning and skincare, morning and skincare, to do a morning skincare routine because it messes with the pH balance. And I had a special soap, special cleanser that I used, that I could use in the morning um, from Causerex and I loved it. But then once I stopped using that, I just kind of stopped doing my skincare in the morning. And it's just confusing to me. I guess I don't know what I'm doing because a lot of influencers now are saying that you need to do skincare morning and night and i thought we weren't supposed to do that so i don't know i just don't do mine sometimes if i'm extra like oily i'll do it in the morning as well but i i feel like the natural oils are pretty good for the skin so i don't normally take baths to like get clean it's more to relax So I finally got hungry enough to make us some fried rice and it's just a little frozen meal but honestly like food just makes me feel so grateful and abundant and at peace with the world and I'm so happy to be eating. I love food. Good morning guys! Ooh, that was a decent, that was pretty good sleep. Um, I feel kind of horrible though this morning. I think I have way too much caffeine. I should not have been drinking that coffee that late last night, but I'm gonna drink a bunch of water and um, relax, maybe do some headstands. Apparently that is supposed to help get rid of headaches. One thing I've noticed, uh, even though I've only vlogged one day, I feel like this is making, this whole process is making me become so much self-aware, especially when I like watch back the videos. I'm like, ooh, so like, that's what my mind is doing. Yeah, I'm loving this process so far and it's only day two. So I just placed an order for a gua sha and an ice roller, which has been on my list of like things to order for like six months. And I've just like, I never knew like, if I should do one or the other and I finally like talked to someone about it on threads and they were like just do both because ice rollers for depuffing gua sha is like contouring and I feel like like I don't know what happened but I just feel like I went from being really hot to looking like 97 in the span of like two years so one of my habits that I've been trying to do a whole week um I'm trying to take my vitamin d I don't know why I like completely like forgot to take it this year. I used to be on my vitamin D fine, but um, I had this, I got this as like a free gift for my first order from Athletic Greens like a few months ago and I just fill it up halfway, boom. D is so important, especially during the winter months because it regulates 900 genes. Also, I don't know if you guys can notice, let me turn it on to cinematic, okay? So, I have this gnarly breakout right here, and I still have it, but the niacinamide, I believe, cleared this up, so it's like healing already. Whereas if I hadn't done my skincare last night, it would probably be worse. All right, I got hungry. So, cottage cheese again for breakfast. I probably don't look like I work out, but I do. <laughs> creamy okay I'm getting ready for the gym and this is the fit that we're going with today I've got beyond yoga leggings I love their leggings they're super soft and stretchy and then just under armor tank I love this tank because it like goes down all the way it covers my little pudge and yeah uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go kill and work out. It's upper body today, so yeah. It's 
my uh, struggle point. So I go to Hotworks and I just started a couple of months ago, but I'm obsessed with it. And the thing about Hotworks is it's these tiny little sauna rooms. It's infrared sauna. And people can book ahead. So you book on the app and you can book up to three people at a time. But I hope and I pray every time that I'm the only one in there, especially on the arm workouts because it is a struggle and I curse a lot when I'm in there. And especially today because I'm gonna be filming. So we'll see. I'm about 15 minutes early. Um, so I'm gonna go turn on the sauna and get ready. I was able to get through about 30 minutes. It was a 40 minute workout, so we'll call that a win. There is nothing quite like showering right after a nasty, sweaty sauna session. I love the sauna. So at Hotworks, I do 125 to 130 degree sessions. And so obviously I sweat and oh my gosh, my mind feels so clear and so present. I don't feel like going on social media. I just feel like being super present. And then when I shower afterwards, I feel like super fresh and clean and just ready to take on the day. So I feel amazing right now. I'm also doing a little mini skincare routine. I guess I kind of lied when I said I don't do a morning skincare routine because if I work out in the morning, I do. But usually it's just washing my face and moisturizing. But that niacinamide works so well. I think I'm gonna do that this morning too. Headed to work now. I did a little bit of light makeup, just a tinted moisturizer and I'm wearing this shirt. And yeah, um, I will see you guys this evening after I get off of work. And we'll chat then. Okay, so we wanted to go to the grocery store and I wanted bagels. So we went and got some bagels and $70 worth of other stuff. I'm in my luteal phase. And all I want is carbs. Good morning, guys. I didn't vlog much last night because I had a pretty chill night. Um, it didn't do much, but today it's Wednesday. Wednesdays are a magical day. It is my day off of the week. And so I do all of my like appointments and errands and I try to fit in some fun on Wednesdays. So first thing we're doing is going to the dentist and I'm nervous, you guys, uh, AF, because <laughs> I haven't been to the dentist in I don't know how long and I'm not been taking good care of my teeth. So I know they could shame me, um, but I am ready for it. I am bracing myself for it and I just want to do better. I want to floss and I want to, you know, do what I'm supposed to do to my teeth and get them in better shape because it's really my like gums that are like starting to like really suck. Anyway, we're going to the dentist and I will check back in with you guys later. I'm probably not going to vlog. Dentist. Went to the dentist, two is right down the fucking street. Right down the fucking street. I'm going to the dentist. I'm going to. Ooh, I'm going to the dentist. Ooh. So that was kind of crazy. I just went to the dentist, and the dentist is like my cousin's son. So I guess that makes him kind of a cousin to me. I don't know. I don't meet a lot of people with my last name. It's not a very common last name, um, but it was kind of crazy. So yeah, my dentist is related to me and uh, my teeth are clean. I feel so good. I okay, I'm home now. So I am going to do some chores around the house. I'm gonna do the cat litter. I'm gonna wash my bed sheets and uh, tidy up a little bit so that we can maybe vacuum. There's like a half put together cat stroller in here. There's a puzzle I started on, a painting I started on. 
and it's just like kind of chaotic. So we're gonna get things a little clean and tidy. So the mailman just came, so I'm going to go check the mail. Okay, Green Chef just arrived, so we're gonna put her in the fridge. So we got this, um, we're actually kind of gifted this litter box, and it's automatic, but the only thing is only one cat will use it, the boy cat, Piggy. Um, the whole thing like seems to fall apart when I do it. Um, and then I just use this bag to put the rest of the litter from the other three litter boxes in there. I do have three cats. Um, it's getting all over the carpet. I always use laundry sheets because they are just a little bit more eco-friendly. These aren't like the super eco-friendly ones, but they're definitely like better than shipping a bottle of liquid. So obviously I took the blankets off, but this is the state of my room right now, guys, and I feel like I just tidied over the weekend. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of decluttering, okay? Normally what I do when I clean is I just pop in some headphones and a podcast, and usually it's like a productivity, like get your life together podcast, so it kind of like motivates me and makes me feel inspired to get my stuff together. I go through these phases sometimes where I go post to the wall and I like reordered my bio psych textbook from college and I was like, I'm gonna read the whole thing. <sighs> I think I read two chapters, maybe, maybe one and a half. So, um, and then I ordered a bunch of other psychology textbooks. I think I am just, no, I'm stuck with all these textbooks. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put them next to my bookshelf. So if you haven't noticed, this is essentially my little corner. This is like my little office space. I don't know why, well, I do know why. It's because the space heater is back here. So when I need the space heater on, I huddle over here and just sit on the floor. And I don't know, my desk isn't clean half the time. So, and I also just, I don't know, maybe I just prefer sitting on the floor. I have like my computer down here and my planner and like the windows right here. So I think I like being around all the plants and stuff, but this area, I gotta maintain. I keep all of my like notebooks and like things that I use on a daily basis over here. So that's the book I'm reading. I'm actually not using these two journals yet. I was going to, but then I mean, I'm using this journal. This is my like the Artist of Life workbook. I pull one of these cards every day. Uh, this is my planner. And then this is like a little scratch off doodle thing that I've been using lately. It's like a black scratch board, but um, you scratch it and then stuff, like the colors are revealed as you scratch. So it's very therapeutic. It's kind of like a coloring book, but the colors are all surprises. One random fact about me is that none of my furniture, except for my bed, I haven't bought a single piece of this furniture. I think it was all like this. I So I found this, it was white, it was this color and it was free on the side of the road one day and I brought it home and spray painted it this lovely color. And this was given to me by my boyfriend's aunt. The bookshelf, I don't even remember. Someone gave it to me. Uh, my boyfriend gave me the desk and then the bed I bought. This is the only bed I've ever bought in my life. And uh, that was actually a gift too, the cat tree. Oh, I did buy the floating shelves. I did buy those, but I bought them used. Okay, some of the rest of my order shipped, so um, we're gonna do a little try on. Okay, this is piece number one. Obviously, I'll be wearing it with socks, but I think it's pretty cute. I got a medium instead of a small, um, and I think that was a good choice because the sleeves are a little almost short, but they're kind of perfect. So, the detail is this kind of 
I love this. Almost a mock neck up here. All right, this is shirt number two. I also think I got a medium in this one instead of a small. It's a lot more sheer than I thought it would be, so I'll probably have to wear uh, like a cami under it, which is no problem at all, but I like the, the detail on the neck here. The only thing is, I feel like my head was almost too big to fit through this thing, so we'll see if it, uh, if it holds the test of time. But yeah, I think it's pretty cute. This sheer sleeves. Okay, definitely think I'll be returning this. I cannot wear. I cannot wear this to work, <laughs> and it's also already like kind of ripped on the sleeve. Okay, seats are drying. We've got this area picked up pretty well. That's the shirt I'm returning. Books are over here in the shelf. The bookshelf could probably use a little love. We got the trash and recycling, and then put some more in there. Um, and a nice toxic candle. 